What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Tech and I love LED lighting. So today I am bringing you the Wise Colored Bulbs. These bulbs just released and I was able to snag some before they went on back order. Wise came out with a beautiful advertisement that seemed to sell a very premium experience with impressive features. After testing, I wouldn't say these come close to a premium experience, or at least no one who owns a house like this will be using them. But they do stand out from competitors in a few ways. The first one is their brightness. These can reach up to 1100 lumens. Philips Hue, the colored bulbs can reach up to 800 lumens, and I will show you that in this video. Another thing that sticks out is their CRI, their color rendering index of 90 plus. Philips Hue has 80, so these should give you a much better color or closer to that color that you want. And lastly is the price. So you can only buy these in a four pack right now, but don't worry because they only cost $34.99 plus shipping for all four. They will be releasing a two pack on their website soon. And I already found a listing on Amazon for 26 bucks. I've thrown links in the description. That is an extremely competitive price, especially when you look at companies who are selling their colored bulbs for $50. But with this cheaper price does come some downfalls, which I will get into. Wise sells an entire line of products, which all work together in the same app. They also have a home monitoring service, which I won't get into in this video. Today, I'm gonna take you a tour on the app, show off how these bulbs function, and compare them to my favorite brand, Philips Hue, my goal is to provide you all the information you need to know whether or not these will work for your setup or your smart home. Let's get into it. The Wise bulbs don't require a hub and work over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So if you lose internet, you'll still be able to use the app to control them over Bluetooth. The bulbs support both Amazon and Google Assistant, but not HomeKit. Here's the bulb, the Wise light bulb, very standard, about the same size as Philips Hue. Right when you plug this thing in, it will flash green, letting you know it's in pairing mode. I've already got two bulbs set up, and then I've just screwed in a couple others, so let's set those up on the app. So as you can see, I've got my office lights, but I'm going to click that plus sign in the top left, add device, and this is going to be power and lighting, the wise bulb color. Next, uh, that's our internet. So it lists out the two lights that we're gonna connect. Click next, and they're connecting. Got one, oop, there's an issue. All right, so let's call this um, bedroom one. As you can see right next to it, there are a bunch of icons you can choose. For this one, I will choose this type of lamp. So it looks like I was only able to connect one light. Let me try connecting the other one now. Interesting, so already having a little issue, but let's see if it connects the second one. Found it. And it's connecting. There we go. So it looks like there's a little bug when you're connecting more than one light. Uh, so don't fret if that happens to you. Bedroom, we'll call that bedroom two and we'll use the same icon as well. So finish naming. Now we've got bedroom one and bedroom two. Now that both of those are added, I'm going to create a group for them. So I'm just gonna go back to that plus sign in the top left, click add device group and I'm gonna choose color bulb group and I'm gonna call this bedroom since they're my bedroom lights and then I'm gonna click off which ones I want, which are those two, done. There you go, now you can see I have my bedroom lights and my office lights. All I gotta do to control these lights is I can click right on it, and this is the home screen, which I actually really like the way you can control the lights. So as you can see, I've got the two lights right on top. If I wanna control both of them at the same time, I have to tap on them, and you see those blue check marks, that means that Whatever I do next is going to control the two lights. So if I raise them all the way up, they go together. If I go to blue, they both turn blue, green, etc. go down. And then if I click temperature, this is where I can control the temperature of the lighting. So I can come down here for a cool white, come back up here for a soft white, and you could just tap on the wheel 
What I really like is the back button. So right in the bottom left, I can just tap through that and it will take me all the way back through everything. And then it will take me to the color. So that's really cool. If you already had kind of like the scene you wanted and then you changed a couple things, you were like, no, I actually liked it the way it was. Easy, you got a back button. If I just want to control one light, I just tap the one I don't want to control. I've got the blue check mark and then now I'm checking that. You can also create scenes. So if I scroll down, you can see that there are scenes that are already in the app um, that are pre-programmed. Now, let's say I wanna make this, you know, those are Christmas colors. So I'm going to save by clicking save, save as new scene, and let's call this Xmas because this is Christmas. And what it does is it creates a new uh, layer uh, right on top with all of the scenes that you created. So you'll have easy access and you'll be able to scroll through those. Now, what you can't do is create a zone for multiple rooms and then create scenes off of those zones, which is a little unfortunate. What you'll need to do is probably use your voice assistants to control multiple rooms at the same time. You can't do that through the app like the Hue app. Next, right from the home screen, you can control them, uh, turn them on and off just by tapping right there. And then if I go back into that room, click that little gear icon in the top right, this is where you have access to some more settings. The first thing I can do is change the group name right on top. Then I can change which lights are part of this room. So I don't have any other lights that I can add, but that's where I would be able to do it. Uh, schedules and automations I'll get to in just a second. There's a lot there. Sleep routines, this is great. So if I want the lights to you know, slowly wake me up at a certain time of day on certain days, I can do that right here. And I can also do the same thing for bedtime. Really easy controls for that, I really like that. Next, we've got vacation mode. So when you click that on, if you do that, that means that the lights will act as if you're home while you're on vacation. They'll turn the lights on during the evening, turn them off during the day. That way it simulates that someone's home. So that way intruders are worried and won't you know, come on inside. Next we have power loss recovery. And this is a really big one. Philips Hue has this and some other lights do, but some don't. And this means that if the power goes out, what should the lights do? In my case, I want the lights to go to their previous state. This means that if I'm asleep and the lights are off, power goes out, they won't turn on. They'll go to the previous state, which was off. Now let's get into rules for the Wise app. So as you can see, I have a little, um, a little icon right on top. That's a quick action tool, um, which I'll show that's part of the rule. So I'll click the plus sign on the left and then go to add rule and you can add three different types of rules. There's either a shortcut, which is what that icon is on my main, my main page. You can do a schedule so that lights activate or turn on and off at certain times of the day. And then you could do device trigger, which means that if your front door opens, turn on a light, or if a motion, sense, a motion is sensed with one of your wise cameras, a light turns on a certain color, things like that. So first let's go to shortcut. With shortcut, you can change the icon, just tap on that star and here are a bunch of options. Um, by a bunch, I mean five. Uh, I wish there were more. I wish that there was a whole list of icons you could choose from. For now, let's say I'm home and then let's choose the action. So when I'm home, I want to have my bedroom lights turn on and I'll set the brightness to let's say 50%, 50% and then set the color temperature. So Here's a flaw of the app, at least for now, is I can't set colors, and these are colored light bulbs, which doesn't really make sense. I'm thinking that because these lights are so new, the app hasn't quite caught on with the technology, which, I mean, this should have been rolled out when these bulbs came out. This is a little, a little weird. Um, but for now, I'll, I'll choose cool white, save, um, and then, so you see my bedroom lights are gonna turn on in those settings and then I'll go to action, I'll have my office lights turn on as well. Save. So now when I get home, I can click that button on the top of the app and they will change to that color. So I'm home, I clicked it. Now if I go, if I go to office lights, they should be on. There you go, they're on at that color. Yeah, the app is kind of limited when it comes to these automations, especially not doing color, but you have that at your disposal. 
Next, let's create a new rule. So let's stick with the, let's do a schedule. So a schedule, uh, let's have my bedroom lights turn on at a certain time. And again, as you can see, you can only control the brightness and just the white temperature. You can't control the color temperature, which, come on wise, like, why am I, why are you giving me colored bulbs that can't turn on to certain colors um, through different rules? Doesn't make sense. Um, but there you go, you have that. So next, I can choose the start time there, and then I can choose the days of the week. I do really love the interface of this app. It's really easy to use, really easy to understand, but the lack of color controls is just a huge bummer for me. So that is pretty much, oh, and then the lastly, the last rule would be device trigger. So for me, I don't really have any devices that would truly trigger other lights, but I guess I could do like, you know, turn on bedroom, when my bedroom two turns on, you know, my bedroom one turns on um, at a certain time, you know, only run at a certain time. I think that this would make more sense if I had some of the other technology that Wise sold, like their cameras. Um, so you can see that that is a possibility here and maybe I'll go get one so I can do a little video on that. Um, so there you go, there are all the rules. Besides that, let me just show you the bottom icon. So events means um, this is for motion or your cameras for Wise. This will show when there were when things were activated here. I don't have any of that. Monitoring, same deal. I don't have any of that de de those devices, but they do have a five-piece starter kit and a whole system that's about like $4.99 a month for monitoring your home. Uh, then you've got the shop. You can shop right on the app. They're, uh, they're definitely upselling here. Um, and as, as you can see, they sell... Uh, a lot of things like a handheld vacuum and a wise watch, outdoor smart plug, sprinkler control, robot vacuum, um, a lot of devices that can work with these lights to you know trigger like I showed before. And then um, look at those, those are the white, uh, white wise bulbs, they're $7.99, really inexpensive. Um, and you can buy a four pack for $29.99. Those bulbs I believe have about seven or 800 lumen, they don't have the 1100 lumens that these bulbs have, so you're probably better off getting these even if you just want them for white light. All right, now that we took a tour of the app, it is time to check out the performance of these bulbs in the other room. Let's see how this goes. Right off the bat, I noticed how each light turns on and off milliseconds after one another. Some of you may think this is nitpicky, but it was easily noticeable. Normal lights don't do this, and neither should your smart ones. I can only imagine this would be a larger issue as you add more and more bulbs to your Wi-Fi. When switching just two bulbs to different colors, this lag was also noticeable. I'm not ashamed to say I'm a spoiled Philips Hue user, and I want my bulbs in sync. Now let's compare the Wise bulbs to Philips Hue, which is the premium smart home lighting brand. They're more expensive, but they just work and they look really great, so let's see how those compare. When shifting between various white light and colors, it is immediately evident that Wise bulbs are brighter. That extra 300 lumens is incredible and means it will take less bulbs to light up a room. I wish Philips Hue would come out with stronger colored bulbs already. Side note, I've been using these double socket bulb splitters to increase the number of Hue lights in some fixtures. You can get six of these for 10 bucks. Watching the on and off side by side, you can see the difference in quality. Hue bulbs have a very smooth and slow dim, while the Wise bulbs are much more abrupt. Now watch this. Turning off wise bulbs from certain whites can cause a blip. Did you see that? Let me slow it down. Watch as the wise bulb flickers between blue and soft white before turning off. Every time I turn them off, it gives me this weird feeling. Lastly, let's compare how dim the bulbs can reach. Hue is known for their extremely low dim ability of 1%, and you can see wise struggles to match it. So look, am I going to invest in these Wise color bulbs for my smart home? No, I'm not. The price is amazing. Yeah, they do shine really bright, have a great CRI rating, but I'm still not convinced that these are the perfect bulbs for a smart home. So let's look at these pros and cons. You've got higher lumens and you have an entire line of Wise products that you can use in the same app. Not to mention again, these bulbs are less than $10 a piece. That is incredible. You don't need a hub and they will work over the same app if your internet goes out using Bluetooth. 
The app is extremely intuitive and fun to use, but it's not fully fleshed out. It's missing color controls for automations, and while the grouping works well, you're unable to create zones that encapsulate bulbs from different groups, which can be frustrating for creating automations and scenes. And perhaps the most important feature they lack is the ability to control them with smart switches. You're not always going to have your phone on you, and you don't want to always shut up people in the room to use your voice assistant. This is a reason why I love Philips Hue. I've shown off a ton of smart switches for Philips Hue on this channel that just make the smart home living so much more seamless and especially when you're having visitors over, easier to use and control. What I would recommend these lights for is if there's a room in your home that doesn't need to be fully connected to your smart home and you just want some cool lights in it. Maybe it's your garage, maybe it's a game room. Um, or if you're a set designer or you're a content creator like me and you just wanna light up a set or create a theme or a vibe during different uh, different holidays. Uh, these could come in handy for things like that. Now, I wanna hear from you. Would you use these in your smart home or would you use these in other aspects of your life, whether it be your job or a hobby? I'd love to hear down in the comments. And that's all I've got for you guys today on these wise bulbs. Let me know if you've got any questions down there and make sure you guys subscribe, click that bell for alerts for more videos on smart home, smart lighting, and just innovative tech that I think is awesome and you gotta hear about. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like. I'm Justin and I'll take you later.